There's creatures in our neighborhood. Nothing scary, just furry and feathered friends who make our neighborhood their home. You may not always notice them, but they are watching you. Swans are sometimes our neighbors, but how do they become part of our neighborhood? God created the great sea creatures and every living creature that moves, with which the waters swarm, according to their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind, and God saw that it was good. While it is uncommon, if your home is on a lake or bayou, swans might be your neighbors. Male and female swans, fathers and mothers, often stay together for a lifetime, which is between 10 and 20 years. A mother will give birth to three to eight young at a time, and the family will stay together until the children grow up and move on their way. Young or baby swans are known as swanlings or cygnets. An adult male is called a cob. An adult female swan is called a pen. Swans are relatives of geese and ducks. Male swans are among the largest of flying birds. A swan's diet mainly consists of roots, stems, leaves, and submerged plants. Unlike ducks, one must be cautious when around swans. Daddy swan will protect mom and the babies. Even though our cameraman was a comfortable distance away, you can see Papa Swan give a warning not to get too close. So watch from a distance. Don't get too close or frightened. Swans are among God's most graceful creatures. If swans become a part of your neighborhood, respect them and their privacy. And when fall comes and they fly away, they may remember you and return next year. Do you have swans living in your neighborhood?